Yitzhak Rabin served as one of Israel's greatest prime ministers and as a constant advocate for peace in the Middle East, right up until the moment of his tragic death. He constantly looked towards a bright future for Israel, filled with peace instead of war. Yet the controversial ways he tried to achieve this goal ultimately led to his unfortunate assassination. Yitzhak Rabin was born on March 1, 1922 in Jerusalem. He began his military career in 1940 when he joined the Palmach and eventually became the Chief of Staff Commander of the Israeli Defense Forces, the IDF. He was elected to his first term in office as Prime Minister in 1974. On September 13, 1993, Yitzhak Rabin met with U.S. President Bill Clinton and Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat to sign the Oslo <coughs> Accords. At the ceremony, Yasser Arafat and he talked with these and did decades of sworn enemies with a handshake in hopes of putting the past behind them and living from then on in peace. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1994. He talked served as Israeli Prime Minister from 1974 to 1977 and 1992 until his assassination on November 4th, 1995. On November 4, 1995, Yitzhak Rabin attended a peace rally in Tel Aviv and was shot as he was leaving by Yigal Amir, an Orthodox Jew who strenuously opposed Rabin's peace initiative and the signing of the Oslo Accords. There had been a sheet with the lyrics to the song, Shir Le Shalom, Song for Peace, that Rabin had sung just minutes before in one of Rabin's pockets that was covered with his blood. Rabin's death brought immense sadness. Yet Jews worldwide continue to hope for peace and will never cease to forget Yitzhak Rabin and his many accomplishments that were made in hopes of that same goal. We know our grandfather shares Rabin's same hopes for peace and is proud to receive this honor in his memory. Thank you. 